When you select people to do undercover jobs, then you, you probably have a variety of personalities that you've chosen because there's some white collar undercover work that you need to do. Then you've got the people who are probably going to be better on the street. And so you will just look at the, you know, the way they look. Some people will just look tough and mean, even as police officers. You've got to be able to communicate really well because undercover is all about communication. Rogerson was probably a figure who did it quite completely. In other words, you know, it was almost now his full-time role was to become a crook. Because as an undercover um, officer, you're a cop, you're still a cop, pretending to be a crook. And of course, yeah, we know there are cases where they probably have been submerged into that criminal lifestyle. Roger Rogerson and fellow ex-cop Glenn McNamara plotted to kill Gao to steal almost three kilograms of the drug ice. There's been a few like that, but um, you know that have been big time. When you see those instances of corruption, it really sours the community's perception. <laughs> 